I'm in love with fishing, and fishing's what I do. And if you want to try them up, I'll take you fishing too. Maybe in the morning, in the day, or at night. It don't really matter, I just want to get that bite. We may catch a limit, or maybe just a few. But even if the fish don't bite, just being out here do. We may fish the ocean or river running free. And if you catch the biggest one, it'll be alright by me. Yes, I'm in love with fishing and fishing in my life. So grab your pole and go with me. This is the life of a fisherman wife. Let's go pull them in. <laughs> Let's go. Hey guys, this is your girl Linda with the Life of a Fisherman Wife with the guy she always does it with, her fishing ed. What's up? Uh, we are at Power Lake in Wisconsin, right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> so uh, we're going to ice fish again today. Hopefully we can catch some stuff. Uh, but we did our intro here because I wanted you all to see. I'm going to flip the camera. All the vehicles out here. Uh, there's a line of vehicles on the other side of there. There's vehicles all on this side. Uh, it doesn't mean that the fish are biting, but it means that it has warmed up and people are fishing today. Yeah, the temperature right now is 34, 35, and it's supposed to get up to 40. So it's good fishing weather. So it's a lot of people out, whether they're biting or not. Very uh, so good ice fishing weather. We're gonna we're gonna give it a try. I went out uh, the other day to check the ice. We still got six, seven inches of ice, so we're gonna get on. Maybe our last time or last chance of fishing, ice fishing for a while, uh, because it's supposed to warm up and rain, yeah, right? Yeah, they talk it's supposed to be forty today, forty five tomorrow, forty something. It's supposed to be forty for the next four days and raining. So a lot of this snow probably gonna melt and I don't know how thin it's gonna get the ice, but I'm not going out there until I, I'm sure it's safe again. So it may get rid of it, and it may not. But we'll see. Caught how much rain it is due. Okay, we'll let you all know when we get on the fish. Because if you see fish in the head, keep walking off. He ready to go fish. So we'll let you know when we get up on the fish. Guys, as you can see, I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me see. Can I blow it up a little bit? Uh, 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 uh. Our truck is way over there by the, that trailer over there. And we have walked very far. far to get out here where we are now. Uh, fishing Ed is right there, trying. Guys, we have fished so many different holes to just to have the fish just to come look at it and not bite. I had two little perch to nip in. We fished from, from six feet all the way out to 40 feet. And, uh, once it look, no take. And you say you think that is because of the full moon? Maybe. I don't know. They seem to be biting finicky. Uh, the ones that do bite at, bite at it would just nip on the tail of the bait and won't get it. And uh, I think maybe. Some people say they bite better on the full moon. But I, I heard people say they mouth gets sore during the full moon. So I don't know. Yeah, you, you hear all those wives' tales. But uh, guys, the wind has picked up. It has gotten a little bit cooler. Uh, we was planning on setting up the two-man shanty right here. We have a heater. Uh, guys, uh, we may be going to the golf course. Uh, they may not be biting there either, but that's the last place they was biting. In order to get some good content, we're going to try it out. Yeah, the golf course is a little smaller lake. If you can see, this is a big body of water. Yeah, this is a pretty huge body of water. Um, first, I can see, you can see... Um, snow and yeah, they got a bunch of tip ups out there. Yeah, they got a lot of tip tip ups. Let me see, can I get you all big enough so you all can see it? Those are the tip ups that they have right there. Um, people are all over here, as you all can see. Well, we haven't seen anyone pull anything out, so yeah, that's what I was going to say. But a lot of people are in their their ice shelter too. Yeah, uh, you can't see if they're actually catching anything. A lot of people got Christmas trees and stuff marked on the water on the GPS and they, they can get right over a tree or some structure or something like that and they know where to, where to go you know, on the uh, 
underwater structures, but we don't have that. So yeah. we're gonna go back to uh to the golf course. This is, so we're gonna go back to the golf course. This is a smaller body of water. We can search around there uh from the same way we did here from five feet, three or four feet all the way out to thirty feet. So we're gonna go do that and see what we come up with. All right, see you all when we make it. Fishing Ed is setting up the ice shanty or ice shelter for me. Guys, the wind is blowing and sometimes when the wind blows, it um, makes it like a parachute. He said that his friend Rob gave that to him and he's going to try to set it up. He said, thank you very much, Rob, for your contribution to our YouTube channel. It's very much appreciated. Uh, <laughs> so, let me see, can I get him on the inside of there? Oh, no, he's pretty dark. You can't see him, huh? Guys, the sun is shining bright. Uh, it has warmed up uh, a lot because you know that we was on uh, power late and um, it was very cold but now it seems like to me it has warmed up a little bit uh, the sun is back out again over there when we was there the sun was uh, not uh, it had gone in Guys, let me go up in here. See, can you see him up in here now? He said he don't know how it exactly goes. No, because I never had one of these two men before. I, I borrowed one from a friend last year, and uh, and uh, his was a little different from this one. Yeah, each each ice shelter has its own uh, design, design, unique design. So this one right here, I'm going to have to ask him where this one go because I sure don't know. I thought it might be a rooftop, but it's too tight for the roof. So, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you know what? No. You know what? It's up. We don't need it this time. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do when you don't know where somewhere or something goes. It's up. I mean, it's, it's, it's up. If it was trying to fall or something, I'd try to figure out where it goes. But... Oh, no. I can look it up. Whatever type this is, I can look it up and see where this this elbow piece go. But I ain't gonna worry about it. I'm finna fish. Okay then. So we're gonna finish getting it set up, and once we finish getting it set up, uh, guys, we'll come back and let you see. Guys, when you set it up after it's all set up, you pat snow around it to keep it from sliding all across from uh, the lake because it will parachute you. He's moving away from the snow. So he got to pack snow back around it. Um, this ain't gonna work. This is too much wind. Well, sometimes, yeah, it's too much wind without weed inside and without the snow being packed. Okay, guys, we're gonna pack some more snow around here and see what we can do. Guys, we are in the ice shanty now. Uh, this is our two man shanty. Uh, the wind is blowing pretty hard out there. And as you can see, we're not blowing all over the ice. Uh, and it's not as cold uh, because the wind is being blocked off of us. So, uh, but when we walked in, we asked the guy who was walking out, did they have any luck? And he said, no, they didn't, they wasn't having any luck. And it was very slow out here today. Uh, but as you all know that uh, we have had luck out here to, few times we have came so maybe it is the full moon we don't know you know the old wives tale say if it's full moon the fish mouths or so yeah and i've heard um that um they bite better just before a full moon and just after a full moon then i've heard some people say they bite better during a full moon but personally me i have never had real good luck during a full moon for me it, it, it has always been before and after so but you never know. I guess it's according to what school you find and, and and when they turn on or when they get active. So 
This is just our first hole though, so we're gonna go cut a few more holes and uh give give it a try before we give it up. We are in the area where we fished the last time we was here. So we we decided to stop at this area first because we know they was here, but you know fish will move in a minute. Uh it's been a week or so since we've been out, so they could be on the other side of the lake. So yeah. We'll see. And what moon they call on. it? Was it a snow moon? They come on. Okay. Yeah, it's it's the snow moon right now. Oh, yes, yeah, the snow moon. He went back. Well, we just got a looker. And he said we had a looker. Let me show you the hole. I think it's called a soup like that. He said he think it's called the super snow moon. Man, he came up on a hundred and just as fast as he came up, he went back. But on this frequency, you can see your your um what's going on. You see it? Oh uh, yeah. He said he can change the frequency on his um, Vexla. So now you all can see what we see. Yeah, yeah, I see your jig moving. Yeah, that's my jig right there. Yeah, and uh, when the fish come up, it'll look exactly like that. Like, see, one just popped up. Watch, he hit it. Got him. Did y'all see him? Did y'all see him moving on there? Oh, no, he on there. He's on there. I finished that. I missed him. No, he's on there. He's going right around the transducer. He is. But I don't know if you all can see that. I, I saw him moving uh, on the Vexlar. So that is how you could tell when you have a fish. That's a nice one too, hon. Are we keeping today? Uh, Guys, you. that is a nice one. Look at him. Can they see that in the dark? I, you, we can see it, but not a lot. So you can, yeah, unzip that a little bit. It has some, let me let the window down. Oh, yeah, you can let the window down a little bit. There you go. Very nice fish. And I used that pink and uh, white uh, Tonkson. All right, we're gonna get back down there. Yep, we're gonna close that window up. <laughs> you can go ahead and get it. I don't know if All you're right. gonna keep them or what, whatever you wanna do is fine. No, uh, you know what? You, you know what? I would like to keep them to show them how we um, vacuum seal fish. Oh, okay. I'll keep some there. So we'll keep a few uh, because we have a vacuum sealer. I mean, we have a vacuum sealer, and I would like to shoot, show you all how we vacuum seal to keep our fish fresh longer than putting them in um, a Ziploc bag. bag, a freezer Ziploc bag. So hopefully we get enough to uh, uh, do that and show you all how we do that. So you're going to get back down right quick. I'm going to get you back on the hole. Can we see the... Yep, yeah, we still see the lights, honey. Uh, if you down. could close that up, close it up behind you again. Maybe that's what helps out a lot too. Okay. So nope, it just disappeared on us. Yeah, you might have got too close. For some reason, get too close. Maybe you could stay up from it and and, and uh, get make it larger. Well, if you want to, you can wait till one start coming. But that one came fast, and he as soon as he started coming, right? Then, he was like, "I'm I'm out for a mission. I'm out to eat, and that's that, it. That's that, all." Yeah, that first one did that too. He came shooting up, and then he went back down just as fast as he came up. But that one didn't. He like, I want him. But guys, it, it, it's been a struggle trying to get the fish to bite today. Yeah, it has been. But hey, we got one. The other guys said they didn't catch anything, so. We're ahead of the game by one, huh? Yep. Yeah. So, if we have to cut 10 holes and get one fish every hole, then we'll have enough to, to clean. All right. All right, guys. I don't know if you can see it, but that right there is my jig. And that's the bottom down there, solid red. You can, you can see a little bit of a yellow right there. That's the grass and stuff that I'm fishing above. Now, when the fish come up, you'll see them come from that bottom there up to your jig. So when you first drop it down, what you need to do is establish where the bottom is and establish where your jig is. Now, sometimes it'll get lit up from here all the way up there. You know that's fish because the bottom ain't going to move. I just seen a little green blanket. What's that? Interference? Now, now, that could be interference. But if it turn red, I know it's a fish. So I'm going to go up there where it is and, and give it a try. All the way up there to the top, there's something real. What is that? That's the top of your transducer right there. Okay. So right now, there's no fish looking. No, nope, nobody looking right now. Nothing. So sometimes I drop it all the way down, guys, to the bottom. And I bounce it off the bottom three or four times. And sometimes when you do that, you stir up the bottom or the weeds and stuff a little bit. And that will draw fish in, too. 
I do it four or five times real hard and uh, then I reel it back up so I can see it again. So I've done it. Now I'm going to reel it back up. Now you're going to see his jig. That's his jig That's coming back up. That's my jig coming up right there. But right now, no fish is falling. Nope, it didn't work that time. Sometimes it does work. A lot of, there's one just in. You see him? There you go, right there. There he is. Let's see if he want it. Here you come. Oh, man. Did he leave? No, he's still there. That's me right here. I see you, and I see that flashing. That's him right below my jeep. Mm-hmm. It's two there now. Mm -hmm. See how it's getting wider? Mm -hmm. Here you come. One went back. One still there. And guys, that's how they have been for the longest. They'll come look at it and say no thank you and swim back the other way. And a lot of times you'll see one, uh, see some looking at it and he'll shoot past them and grab it because he don't want them to get it before he do. A lot of times when you get the competition, you can do better. But when one or two come up, if he ain't coming fast, He's not sure that he wanted. Now, if he was moving, if he started advancing on my, my jig, I'm going to start raising up slow. But he's not advancing. Now he's starting to advance, so I'm, I'm constantly moving. I'm constantly moving. You see he's when following I'm, it. He's following it. After a while, I see, he's following it. He might hit it. Now, I take my eyes now off Now he of, slowed he, down. He went back. He changed his mind. See, guys? He didn't want it. He followed that about two or three feet before he decided he didn't want it. And there's another one coming. All right, he's coming. I'm moving away, moving away, moving away. He's advancing on it, so he might hit it. He right on it, guys. I mean, right on it. Hit that dude. Ah, oh, he changed his mind. Oh, boy. You know what? I'm going to put a fresh wax worm on that because that one got knocked a little rightly by that first one. So guys, so now you see how, if you don't know how to work these vest lines, this is how you work it. That is what you see. Uh, I didn't know how. I just, you know, uh, learn really how to work it now. I'm going to put a fresh bait on there. All right. Oh, he just came off. Oh, no. But Fishing Ed decided to come out to Shanty and uh, try to scout another hole. And here he is in this one. And I had one guy's first drop down, he got off on. Yep. He'll be that way sometime. supposed to have gone to the uh, ice fishing derby on Island Lake on yesterday um, but I had to work and um, well I was calling to work um, someone took off and I, I had to fill in and guys I cannot turn down overtime plus fill in pay so uh, Fish and Ed decided that he didn't want to go uh, without me and decided that he wanted to do a little fishing around town and um, you didn't catch anything did you? I, uh, no I didn't. I got a few little nibbles and that's it. I went to ride the uh, trout down at the, at the curry. I didn't do anything. He didn't have his good luck charm with it. Maybe. <laughs> or that full moon getting them like that. No you, I prefer thinking you didn't have your good luck charm with you. <laughs> well what's the problem today then? You caught some didn't you? Not at the first spot. Well, that was a new spot. <laughs> <laughs> it don't work on a new spot. It only work here. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, guys. We'll come back when he get another one. Oh, what 
what is that? Oh, bass. Mister, what is that? That's a small mouth, isn't it? Nope, it's a large mouth. It's a large mouth? Yeah. Man, he wrapped all up good, man. <laughs> he wanted that little, uh, he wanted that little toxin. I think it's a spotted bag. I think I could be wrong. All right, I'm gonna get him back. Yeah. Hold on to my glove. Throw that wet dude. There you go. Oh, he was caught on the train. There you go. He got by. He was having a hard time. He was, he was struggling. He was on the little struggle bus. Yeah, we put that blue gear back. Yeah, we put the blue gear back because we was afraid we might not catch very many. So uh, we let him go before he, he, you know, his time expired. He went. He uh, took off pretty good. He did. He took off pretty fast. So uh, that was a good what? thing. I left the wax one way over there. I'll All go right. get him. Yeah, right. this is our uh, heater that I bought probably 10, 12 years ago. <laughs> Only use it once or twice, but I picked it up from the from the thrift store for only ten bucks. So that's a good deal. It was it was new when I got it. Uh, still look pretty new. I haven't used it that much. Hold the lighter for me. It's just the little feet that goes with it. Hold that. This is what it looks like, and that's the uh, on and off button. So I'm gonna screw this. It, it uses those little propane tanks, so I'm gonna find one to screw it on there. You can get these from Walmart. I think you can get a four pack for 15 bucks or something. I don't know. Maybe maybe higher now. Maybe cheaper now. I haven't bought. I bought these probably four years ago, and I only use one of them. So all you do, stick it on there. Make sure you don't cross thread it. Screw it in there till it's tight. Turn it on light. Let me see the light. I don't know. I think it's got a striker guy, but I ain't sure about that, so I'm gonna put it in here out the window. After a while, you'll see that light up. Once it get warm, you'll see that light up. All right, she'll get a, a, cam, a video of it when it lights up. All right. another bass. You believe it's another bass? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, another bass. It came off. It came off. We saw him, <laughs> but he came off. But that was another bass. And you said that the mark on the that side isn't looking any bigger than the, the uh, bluegill ones? Yeah, I thought that the mark would be a bigger fish that it would get bigger. But what it does, which I've noticed sometimes it do it and sometimes it don't, it gets brighter. And uh, sometimes the mark would get bigger, but sometimes it looks like it just gets brighter. This ain't setting right. I don't like the way this shit just like it's moving. There we go. I see some more down there, so I'm going to get right back down there. Guys, I caught two bags out of this hole. Here come another one. Hmm? Went back. Went back? Yeah. Buddy pulled it. Oh, Lord, that's good. That's great. That's a big movie. Ah! That is a nice bluegill. Look at that, dude. I guess I should have kept that other one we let I go, guess huh? we could have. <laughs> you want to start over? Uh, we can start over. Uh, I see about four or five more down there. We'll get right back down there. And I guess this video will be named uh, How to Catch uh, Bluegills Through the Ice on a um, Fast Lot. Something like that. We have to shorten it. But that is a nice bluegill. You see how he did though? He went 
Guys, I might have to go to my little ice shelter and get warmed up right quick with the heater. Yeah, Right, that's what I was saying because he asked me did he want to move it over here and I was like no nah, there's not enough snow to pack it around it to keep it from sliding across the ice that happened to me before I slid across the ice and ice Shannon mm -hmm. guys this is the heater it has heated up it is really warm in here now uh, so this is how you ice fish in comfort you uh, get your little heater like this and you sit in here and out of the elements it is very comfortable very warm uh, or you could you know set this up and go outside and uh, this can be your warm-up shelter so yeah so I'll go back out and see what Fish and Ed is doing yeah. That's a good one too. It is a good one. Guys, Fish and Ed decided to come in the, in the ice shanty to warm up too. Because yeah. the wind is blowing pretty hard out there. But that is a nice one. Yeah, that's a nice one. Guys, we let that other one go. They biting so uh, few in between every every 10 minutes or 15 minutes. So we don't want to we don't want to keep one or two. So we let the other one go. So we're going to let this one go too. Okay. Yeah. There you go. He gone. We can't even make up our mind that we want, whether we want to keep him or let him go. So we're going to let him go. Yeah, we're going to let him go. All right. Guys, Fish and Ed came in back in the heat. And the heat drew him over here in this area. No, I just gave it a break. That's a good one, too. Oh, it is a nice one. See, we keep throwing them back. <laughs> Guys, every time we throw one back, we catch another one back to back. Yeah. <laughs> Man. So that could have been how many? Three or four? That could have been four or five. All right, we're gonna put him on the bank for a few minutes, and we're gonna get back down. All right, now. you hold on for a few seconds, okay? Don't you die? You stay right there. You gonna die because the other one's out. A minute. I knew I should have kept the other one, boy, but we were scared. We didn't want to. We didn't want to do that to him, and we only had one or two fish. So. But I guess we could have ate them, huh? Yeah, we could have ate them today. But uh, that's all right. I see some more down there, so maybe he'll have some company. Yeah, give him some company. I think a, a lot of them want that, that grease jacket. All right. See him down there? Yeah. Here you come. He didn't want it that time. Oh, no. That's all right. It's, it's four or five of them. See? Throw him back and, and the rest of them will come. No, nah, I'm going to wait because it's here you come. See, you come. I, I know. Two or three of them right on it. Somebody, there you go. Ooh, he bit the tail of it. Did you scare him? I don't know. Sometimes when you snatch you, you spook them. You spook them. Yeah. Yeah, here come another one. That one passing him, that's a oh well you can big look like. Bring it up slow. He right on it. Not yet. He hit he, he hit it. Just had the tail holding on to it. He might have ripped it. He might have ripped it off that guy. I believe he ripped it off of that. Mm. Just mm. hold on, buddy. Hold on. We trying to find you a friend. All that noise. I told you trying to find you a friend, little bud. I believe that's a little one because some big ones when they came, they they hit it hard. That one just they go, ooh, dang come that I had it. Hmm. He might be gone now, guys. I think he got that meat. Wait, can you come back? Let me see. Alright. I won't get him this time. I believe he got that meat. Guys, look how the screen lit up. It's fish everywhere down there. I just had one to bump it. You see that? Alright. Those up higher. Here come one. Here come one fast, guys. Watch this. I'm gonna dead stick it. He bit it. That's a little one. Got him. Ooh, yeah. 
they hanging on to the tail, guys. I'm going to have to choose some smaller wax worm. Every time I put a big one on there, they get the whole thing off of one pool. So what's happening is they sucking in, in the tail and not the whole jig. I bet it's gone. Hold it and show them, man. Just a little piece on it. Hold it in your hand. See that guy? They got everything out but the head. So I'm finna pick a smaller one and go back down there. He got him that time with the smaller wax worm. But that's not a small fish. Nope. Don't burn him up with the heater. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They was holding on to the tail of it, so I put a smaller wax worm on there. That's a good one too. Boy, we should have been keeping them. You wanted to show them. Yeah, how to uh, how to vacuum seal. Yeah. So you wanna you want this to be the last one of the day or are you gonna uh you ready to go? Yeah, let's do the last let's go. one. Alright. You want to go out in the sunlight? Sure, why not? Guys, uh, show the last one of the day. <laughs> That's our last one of the day. We only have two. I'm sorry. I may be able to, I don't know. Are we going to try to vacuum seal those two or no? No, I'm, pro I'm probably going to let these go. We'll come back tomorrow and see if we can get some, something to keep. Okay, we'll come back tomorrow and see can we get something to keep to show you all how we vacuum seal and um, put the date and everything on. You know how you do it. Yep. Uh, but we're going to ask you to make tomorrow better than today. And until next time, God bless and good fish. Peace. Peace, y'all. We out of here. All right, I'm going to get this one back. Now that fishing's over, sun is getting low. Yes, I caught a big one, but I just had to let him go. Yes, he was a nice one, he was the biggest of the day. Show felt mighty good to me just to watch him swim away. May not ever see him again, this I know is true. But now that he is swimming free, you might catch him too. Glad you came to fish with me, yes it was really nice. Maybe we can go again on the life of a fisherman's wife. Until next time, God bless and good fishing. Peace.